Hi, it's me again, Dee Dee. Uh, back again from our pilgrimage to Homeroom in Oakland, California. As you recall, I did the entire series, I did the whole cookbook, and they were nice enough to treat Wayne and I. Let's introduce Wayne. Hi. And he went with us, he's our sommelier, and joined me in Oakland. And had a great time. That's right, okay. Um, we came back with menu, that's right. And we fell in love with one of the Macs that is on the menu, um, called Hawaiian Mac, and it is not in the book. So I winged it, and we're, that's what we're doing tonight because I was inspired, of course, because I tasted a new Mac. We have guests this evening. Um, would you like to show yourselves? Hi. This is Stephanie, who also was in Oakland visiting with Ross. Hi. And this is Ross, who helped facilitate our being able to get to homeroom by staying in contact with them and falling in love with them also. So here we are. Um, I, believe it or not, went to four different stores and could not find Jumbo Elbow macaronis. Four stores in the Chicago North Shore area. So I chose rigatoni, a small little rigatoni. So we'll see what that is like. Hawaiian Mac um, has bacon, green onions, and pineapple. Oh, and the cheese is Havarti. So you can see it is so creamy, okay? And then Wayne can speak to the wines. We're back to our production values. <laughs> I picked a Riesling because I thought after tasting this at home room, there was a little bit of sweetness, so I wanted to stay with the sweetness, so I picked a Riesling for the uh, wine. We love the sweetness yes, because it, when the pineapple gets in your mouth, it like pops a little bit, so it's sweet and salty. And I picked one of my favorite beers. We've used this before, but I used this because this IPA has a little bit of a fruity citrus taste that I thought would really go well with this uh, uh, mac and cheese. So Okay, well, let's try this. This was so good. Wayne and I just fell in love with it. Again, like I said, it's that sweet and salty. Do you want to give me your plates? And you can show I also made the Brussels sprouts with bacon and an apple cider like vinaigrette. Okay, there's Ross. Stephanie's using the Golden Gate plate tonight. We like to stay in theme, you know? Okay, and give me your plate, Wayne. Thank you. All right. Ooh, look at the steam rising up from that. No panko on that because this is really meant to be uh, just a creamy mac, so no panko, and they didn't really advise it at homeroom either. So let's try the Chateau St. Michel Riesling. Not too sweet. Okay, okay, and okay. We had such a blast in Oakland, I can't even tell you. We are so appreciative, and I want to shout out to not just Homeroom, who helped us get there, but the Port of Oakland, Visit Oakland, Southwest Airlines, Bags Fly Free, uh, it was, and may I say beers are half price to all the other airlines? I found that out. Um, so, you know, we just had a good time and we ate our way around Oakland and there are still places we wanted to try. But um, we hit as many as we could, kids. Okay, let's try this, shall we? Try to take the perfect bite. A little bit of everything. Mm. Ah, the pineapple is ridiculous. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah? Really okay, good. Jason yeah, with the wine. Good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if the wine was any sweeter, it would be too much. Okay. Not with the beer. That's good. All right. And now we pour a little of the Founders All Day IPA. 
as I said in earlier videos, Founders is like Wayne's favorite brewery in Northern Michigan. And we went there and um, kind of drank everything they make. <laughs> so, okay, let's try it with the beer. Mm. Do you want to try it? He will in a second, yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Well, oh, lost an earring. No? <laughs> it's good, but you know me, Dee Dee likes her wine. Okay. All right. What do you think, Ross? Do you like it better with the beer or the wine? I'm not a big IPA fan usually, so mm -hmm. I would have picked maybe a wheat beer, but uh, I definitely like it with the wine. A wheat beer, huh? Mm hmm. Wayne, our sommelier, was contemplating a brown ale. What do you think, hon? Stephanie's yeah. eating! <laughs> I like it with that, um, with that wine that's very good. No, you do, right. I know, the wine really, it, it does blend. Good it choice, does. Wayne. Yeah, I'm gonna try it with the beer. Okay. So it's Havarti, bacon, Green onions and pineapple. Yeah, I think that's nice. I like that combo, but I wouldn't mind trying it with the brown ale. I think the brown ale might have been just a tad sweeter, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. yeah, that, that, that might have worked well. Too. Yeah. Okay. But I like it. I like it. Recommend it. Mm, good. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I want to say. Um, as I said, I made uh, the Brussels sprouts um, with the apple cider uh, apple. What, what am I trying to say? Apple the apple cider, vinegar, vinegar. vinegar, you know, it's good. <laughs> With, mm -hmm. And instead, you know me, I can't follow the rules. So instead of bacon, I put pancetta in it. So we'll see what that's like. So once again, thank you. And thank you to all my followers for supporting um, all the videos. And, and I have fans now in a, a Naperville. And they bought cookbooks. And I mean, this has just been fun. So as I continue to get inspired, I will make others. All right. Thanks. Happy spring pretty soon.